Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Wednesday, April 13, 2022. And I hope you can see me. It looks to me, from what I can see looking at the little bitty screen, that all you can see is that window back there and I have the blind shut. <laughs> I have something so fun I want to show you. You have been wanting to watch me sew. When am I going to sew? When am I going to sew? Well, I'm sewing yesterday and today. Turns out I have to. I have to make something. I'm forced to make something. <laughs> and I wish I had known I was forced to make this weeks ago, but I just discovered it like two days ago. So you know we're going on our little vacation to Texas Motor Speedway next week, right? So here's the paper. It's called a Customer Appreciation Rally. And here's the things they're going to do. Do you see the black tie and the white shirt? At first, I just looked at that and I thought, I wonder what I put that there for. Hmm, weird. <laughs> but then my lightning fast mind decided to read the menu over here. And there's going to be a dinner. It's a theme night called Bubbles and Bow Ties. And it says James Bond attire. I looked at it and I went, James Bond attire? What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, James Bond attire. Oh my, oh my. I spent, from the day I saw this was about two or three days ago, trying to call this company. I called them and I called them and I left messages. I called them at least 20 times. That's no exaggeration, probably more than 20 times. Finally, somebody answered the phone. And I told them, I've called and called and called and called and called. I have a question about this rally and I've already left a message on the rally person and they never call me back. She said, well, you need to talk to Chuck. <laughs> so I talked to Chuck and Chuck said, you don't have to wear anything in particular. You can come any way you want. But a lot of people like to come in James Bond attire. So I remember the last James Bond movie that I watched. I love this dress this girl had on. I have a picture of it here. I saw the girl in this dress and I thought, oh, I love that dress. That's a knit dress. It's a V-neck. I love that dress. And I just remembered it. So I looked it up and I found it. So I will put these up close so you can see them. I decided I'm going to make this dress to wear to the James Bond party. And Jerry's just going to wear a black turtleneck shirt. Well, it's not a turtleneck. It's like, you know, a little bit raised neck and black pants and a gray jacket. And I'm going to make this. There she is. Her name's Madeline something, I think. But is that the cutest dress? And I can make it. I think I have another picture. What's it show? There's a close-up. I got the close-up to try to see what the buttons looked like. Jerry says they're black. I say they're brown. But it doesn't matter because I couldn't find any black buttons or brown buttons. So I'll show you what buttons I'm going to use. And this is why you have to have tons and tons of material in your stash. You have to have it. It's a necessity. Because I just happen to have a perfect piece to make this dress. The next problem was, what am I going to use for a pattern? I don't have a pattern. So I've got one, two, three, four, five boxes full of patterns. I have over 500 of them. And that doesn't even include the Peggy Sager's patterns and the, and the um, Louise Cutting patterns and uh, somebody else's patterns I have. So I got my little pattern book out that I made for myself and I looked at all the pictures, all the pictures, all the pictures, all the pictures of the dresses, all the pictures of the tops. There was not one pattern like this. Not one. So what is the solution? When that happens, oh my goodness, did I have a solution? Ta-da! <laughs> Make your own pattern. Make your own pattern with SureFit Designs and get a perfect fit. <laughs> so, I got this out and I drew myself a pattern. You want to see it? This is the back of it. It has a big waist art in it and it's just Place it on the fold and cut out a one piece back, kind of a high neck. It's going to have the short sleeve just like that girl had. So this is the back of the pattern that I drew. And the front is a little more fancy. Sure fit design stress kit, my friends. Here's the front. Here's the v-neck. 
Now remember, there's five eighths inch seam allowance on this, so the V-neck will be lower than it looks here. I have made my self-attached, grown on whatever you call it, facing. So all I have to do is fold the facing in and sew it right here on this V. Front facing done. How, I love this. I just love this. Glenda Sparlin taught it to me, and she'll teach it to you. I put in the original SureFit Designs bus start. Here it is floating around in the back. And I turned it into a French dart. So it's a little bit lower, and it takes up more room getting to the end of it. Doesn't look like it really does. But that's my waist is so high, that's as low as I could make it. And um, what else did I put the waist dart in, but I'm not going to use it. I, I'm not waist dart friendly in the front. I definitely will put the waist dart in the back because I have a sway back, and a uh, waist dart works for me in the back. But in the front, my body doesn't like that anymore. It's like, let us out, let us out, please let us out. We need to breathe. Well, here's my V-neck, my bust dart, and it's kind of long. Hers is long, so I'm making mine long. It's got a two-inch hem in it down here, you can see. So I just have one piece of perfect fabric. It's just perfect. It's a stable knit, which means it doesn't stretch very far. Ten inches of it doesn't stretch very far, and it has no stretch on the lengthwise grain, and that is great for a dress. You don't want that heavy rayon that drapes on you, and it just it pulls down, 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 and it shows every lump, every bump, every wrinkle. I did not want that, but I definitely wanted knit. So what did I do? I got my pattern ready. I've got it all done except the sleeve. I've got to cut a sleeve out in a minute. But I've got the red one made. I found some fabric, some red fabric, that's the same as the color of dress that she's wearing. I'm making mine the same color as hers, off-white cream. That's the color mine's gonna be. I didn't have any brown buttons, but I'll show you the buttons I have. They have to be one inch buttons, and these are, and I happen to have 10 of these. So these are gonna be my buttons. There's four of them, and I've got six more over there. Those will be my buttons. I have just a plain flat I'm gonna wear with it. But, if you'll notice, I told Jerry, I said, oh my gosh, I get to wear tennis shoes with this. And he said, you are not wearing tennis shoes with that. But, the girl in the movie's got tennis shoes on. So, I don't know if she was just on set when they took that picture, or if it's part of the movie uh, when they took that picture. But, he says I can't wear tennis shoes. Let's see, the other picture have shoes? No, the other one doesn't have shoes. So, I made a red one, you want to see it? I tried it on, and it fits me perfect. Well, it didn't fit me perfect. I had to do one thing. What did I have to do? I had to let the waist starts out in the back. So, you will see here on my back pattern that there's a red, red waist dart and a blue waist dart. So, the blue waist dart is what I'm bringing it into. So, I've got a little more room back here. And I told Jerry I've got to lose five pounds before Sunday, so... He better lock me in this room and not let me out. I don't have anything in here to eat. Okay, let me show you the red one on Lucy, because it's really cute. Now, the one on Lucy has not been sewn yet, so the neckline is still high. The neckline has not had the 5 8 inch taken out of it yet. And the front of it is overlapped, but I don't have buttons and buttonholes, and it doesn't have sleeves yet, but you can see how cute it is. Let me show it to you. So here it is on Lucy. Now remember, it doesn't have the sleeves in it yet, but you can see the French dart, even though it's a knit, yes, it's going to have a dart, and even though it's a knit, yes, it's going to have two waist darts in the back. So this red one's very nice too, and even though it's my muslin, it will be very wearable. I don't like to wear dresses, <laughs> but, um, you know, it'll be great for church when we get to go to our real church down there in San Antonio. So, see here how it overlaps in the front? And there's that fold-in facing, see it? The fold-in facing, and it will have 10 buttons going down. Why 10? Because hers has 10. And then this, of course, will fold in. See, like that. 
that will be more in like that Ooh, I love it I love it oh, I am so excited that I've got SureFit designs it is a wonderful system alright let me show you what I'm gonna make the actual dress I'm gonna wear out of now this fabric looks different just because of the color of it and the um, the print in it. Isn't it cute? It's an animal print of some sort. But it's got the same amount of stretch as that white one. And I can just get that dress out of it. So I've got to go. You can tell I have an awful lot I have to do. I'll come back and at some point I'll show you the dress on me. Here's my muslin my friends. What do you think? I've got a crimp in the sleeve right here. I don't know why. We'll have to check into that. The sleeve might be smaller than my garment. The little crimp. I didn't crimp it when I sewed it, but there's kind of a wrinkle here. And I think I may need to make the sleeve a little bit bigger because I think it's pulling right here. Not sure. I'll check it when I take it off. So, what do you think? Did I do a good job copying it? The sleeve? Let me go get the picture. Now. I figured out she's only got six buttons, not ten, and the button ends up here on her thigh. I may need to button mine lower. I've got mine two different lengths. I asked Jerry, did he like the short one or the long one? He said the long one. Just two inch difference. And the sleeve, I looked at her arm to see where the sleeve ended on her arm. And it's not to her elbow. It's about halfway. It's about halfway between. Now, Peggy Sagers could do this perfectly. Peggy Sagers measures these things. And then she measures her body, and she gets everything in the exact correlation to each other. I don't know how to do that. I can just look at the picture. Now, when I first made the sleeve, it was like this. It was tight. But I decided I didn't want it quite that tight. Okay, now remember, this isn't a dress. This will be a dress and I can wear it. It's wonderful, fabulous fabric. But the one I'm going to wear for the James Bond party is white or cream colored, cream colored. The V, <laughs> the sleeve. Now, she probably doesn't have darts in the back. She might, but there's no pictures of the back. They probably just have it fitted in her waist because she has a waist. I'm real happy with it. So I'm going to cut it out in white. Jerry said the buttons are too little. You see her buttons. Now see Peggy Sager would know how big these buttons are. I don't know how big they are. But my buttons, since they're the only ones I have, <laughs> are one inch. So that's the buttons I'm going to have unless Jerry wants to run me to Joann's or something. I can't get any online fast enough. All righty. Oh, the only thing better would be pockets. Oh, if I was Vivio, I would have pockets. Oh, my goodness. I love it very much. I wish I could wear the red one. <laughs> How awful does my belly look? Now, you know I'm going to lose five pounds before Saturday, right? If I do, I'll have to take it in a little bit. But I think it turned out great. I really do. Thank you, SureFit Designs, my dear friend Glenda Sparling. Your system is genius. It takes some work. It takes some work. When you're built like me, you got one low shoulder and one high hip and belly that sticks out and a back that caves in. And you, you got to deal with that stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but once you learn how to do it, oh my goodness, I just love it. I think it's just great. So. I'll be back when I get the white one done. How about that? This is the next morning, my friends. And I have such exciting news <laughs> for me. <laughs> Last night I went down, and I might have already told you this, and I told Jerry I just had to have the proper buttons for my dress. So we went to Joanne, and we spent $21.48 on buttons. Buttons that were not on sale, Buttons that none of the coupons worked for. That always happens. So, while we were there, I asked Jerry, what color button should I put on the red dress? I actually like the red dress better than the white one. It's not white, it's cream. But I actually like the red one better. <laughs> 
So he said, I think you should put black buttons on the red one and wear it with black shoes. So I'm thinking red buttons, it's kind of a heavy knit, and wear it in the fall and the winter with black boots. <gasps> oh, I have three or four pair of black boots, y'all. So I'm super excited about that. Also, I asked him, I put it on. I put the dress on with one sleeve <laughs> and held it together with pins and wore it outside because Jerry was over there doing something in the RV. And so he looked at it when I was outside on the driveway. And I said, which length, the longer one or the shorter one? And he said, the longer one. And I agree with him. So I can't make this one the longer one because that's the hem folded up. But on the white one that I'm making now, hold on. Here's the cream colored one. I got the interfacing put in it this morning. What kind of interfacing? It's that knit one. The knit interfacing. Knit for knit. I'll tell you the name of it in a minute. See? So this is the white one. <laughs> so we got home. We got home. It was like 8 o'clock, 8.30. And I told Jerry that the pictures that I have, which are downstairs now, the pictures that I showed you and the pictures that I saw online, she had tennis shoes on. And I told Jerry, I said, maybe that was just on the set and she was wearing tennis shoes. So I said, let's, let's put the movie on and watch it and see what she wears in the movie. In the movie, she wears a real pretty cream colored pump and has a real pretty cream colored purse to go with it. So I don't, I can't wear tennis shoes. <laughs> so what I am gonna wear, but whatever. <laughs> so I want to I want to give you a tip. Do you see here? <laughs> I was using drop cloths this morning. Drop cloths. We're not painting, Joy. I was using press cloths, and my press cloths are organza. But my press cloths are so old. I mean, this has got a big hole in it. It's got white stuff, white spots, it's got holes in it. This one has black thread stuck to it and black stains on it. <laughs> so my tip is, if you've had your same press cloth for 20 years or more, throw it away and get a new one. <laughs> I had two brand new ones in my drawer over there. So that's my tip of the day. What color buttons am I gonna put on this dress? You can see the black ones here. I think they look great. The buttons for this dress are going to be... Hold on a second. Here's the buttons going to be on this one. These are the closest I could find to the one she wears in the movie on this dress. Now remember, her dress is a rib knit. It's a thick rib knit. But I didn't have any thick rib knit, so this is the closest thing I had. It's the right color, but it's not a rib knit. And then there will be seven of these buttons. Hers had six buttons, but you know, hers was supposed to splay open at the bottom so you could see her legs. Thank goodness it was very decently done, and you couldn't see clear up to her waist. So, there'll be seven of these on this version. Yeah. So I have to get busy. You can see I have got a lot to do. All I have done so far is mark how I'm going to sew the dart. You can see what I do is I put a thread. Oh, my battery's about to die. I'll be back, y'all. I just told you so much and I didn't have it on record. I'm so brilliant. <sighs> so the way I mark my darts is I do the thread where you put the needle straight through. Don't put it sideways. Put the needle straight through and pull the thread through and then cut a long piece. And so I put that through the, through the holes, the main little circles of the waist art and the bust art. There's a main, there's points. And so I mark it on all the points with the thread, maybe four inches of it. Then when I take the pattern off, I carefully pull, pull this apart. This is folded in half like this. And I will carefully pull it apart just to a dot. And you can see where the thread goes in the hole. And then I will mark the dots with the friction pen. That way, when the thread falls out, as it always does, you can see the thread here, it's already fallen out. It won't matter because I've marked it with the friction marker. It works great. And also, another tip. Be sure to take a scrap of your fabric, especially a light color like this, I took a scrap and I just scribbled it with the friction pen and then I put the iron down and steamed it and pressed it to make sure the marks would come completely out. And I did. 
Yay. <laughs> I've shown you guys this tip before, but just in case, I have some new people. I have a two inch hem in the bottom of this garment. And it is easier for me, I think it's helpful, to press the hem in while I've got just the back and one front and two fronts. Go down to the bottom and press the hem in now. So later when it's time to really hem it, all I gotta do is fold it up on the pressed line. Then, you know about all my little, um, oops. You know about my file folder thingies. All different widths. You can also buy them made up. This is one I purchased. There's a whole bunch of different sizes, but I prefer just slice up a file folder myself. So I have all those. See the white ones? This is one of the white ones I purchased. That's three inches. It says, Sewing with Nancy, Nancy's Notions. So if you want to have that kind, otherwise, cut up a manila folder. So you put this down here where your hem is, and you can only do a few inches at a time, you know, where you can hold it really good. Press, depending on your fabric, cotton, of course, you can press all day long. Be sure and let it cool. Let it cool, because you want to see your crease. Now this was cut to come up here even, but it didn't, because it's knit. And knit sometimes does not want to behave. So if you end up, I'll show you up close what I'm talking about. What's she talking about, Fred? I don't know, Mabel. Okay. Some husbands do, watch me. Some husbands do so. That looks good. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So here at the bottom of my paper back, this is the back. You can see I drew the two inch hem and you can see it's curved. So whenever you're doing a hem, you fold it up and you see if the hem sticks out over the side here. Because a lot of times it does. So what you do when you're making your pattern, before you cut the side seam down here, you fold the hem up, fold it up. Hopefully you can see through the paper better than I can. <laughs> You fold your hem up, and then you cut the side seam. And when you do that, it makes, see how the hem kind of goes out a little bit there? See? It kind of goes in and then out because it matches this. And when you cut it that way, then your hem will fold up inside perfectly. Very great thing to do. However, in actual real life, my hem is going out past. It is going out past because this is a knit and it stretches. So I am going to have to narrow it and narrow it here. Just a tiny bit or I'll have too much folding up inside. There's my hem. Ready to be folded up when I get the garment sewn together. That's the inside. This is the outside. So I've got the back waist darts in the back. One of them's pressed, one of them isn't. You can see this side, the blue is all gone. This side has blue here and blue here. I'm going to press it and the blue is going to disappear. Ooh, I love this iron. My iron's in my Amazon store. There's not really a link, but there's a place, I'll show you where to go. They uh, changed the link. They used to give you a link to link to your Amazon store, probably because nobody ever buys anything from me. But um, if you go to the shop, Amazon.com slash shop slash Joy Bernhardt, you can find the iron. It's wonderful, fabulous. I've probably had five or six of them. They last a couple years, and then they become incontinent. Buy a warranty. And they will give you a brand new iron when that happens. So, here we go. And look at the marks. Those dark blue marks. Completely, completely gone. Do you see the animal print in this? Isn't it pretty? And there you are on the front of it. Waist dark duty.
Oh my gosh, that is so nice. All right, I have to get busy. I'll be back after a while. <laughs> I think in the last clip I said I'll be right back. <laughs> well, I'm right back, I don't know, a week later. <laughs> I've just lost track of the days and lost track of the time. The last five days we've been out of town in one town or the other. We just finished the memorial service for Jerry's brother who passed away. Yesterday, we got back late last night, we saw watch church this morning, and um, I told Jerry, I said, I have got to get upstairs and get my bond dress video done. <laughs> so I came up whenever I was here last, and I didn't feel like setting up the lights and the video camera and everything, so I just took some stills of it. So I guess I told you I didn't wear it the night of the actual party. And it was fine. There were people there in t-shirts and shorts. So I just wore, uh, I probably have a picture of it. You want to see what I wore? If I can find a picture, I'll show you right here what Jerry and I actually wore that night. So I'm going to show you here. The bond dress turned out fine. Perfectly fine. Jerry loves it. But I just was not in the mood to wear that dress that night because the weather was so uncooperative. And I just wanted to be totally covered up like a cocoon and go hide in the corner somewhere. <laughs> so that's why I wore the comfortable outfit that I wore. So here's some pictures. I think there's four of them here. Here's some pictures of the bomb dress all done. And I'm wearing it before I've lost the weight I want to lose. You can see lumps and bumps and ugh. I wish I could just stick a pin in myself <laughs> like an inner tube and it would just <sighs> deflate. <laughs> so I'm still working on that DESM diet and um, maybe next year we'll go again. And I think they have the James Bond party every year. So we shall see. We shall see. I've really got to get some weight off. But I have so many things I want to tell you and several more videos I want to make and if we could just stay in town it would really help. Right here let me show you those four pictures of my James Bond copy of the dress that the movie star wore in the last James Bond video where James Bond dies in the end and um, it's called No Time to Die I think but then he dies. Okay here they are. The red one is still here. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. I, I have nicer knees than I have ankles. <laughs> my ankles and my feet swell, and you know I have to wear those sucky socks. And my knees, in my opinion, look a lot nicer than my feet and my ankles do. So I'm gonna shorten the red one. And uh, even though hers wasn't short, mine's gonna be short, and if somebody doesn't like it, well then, <laughs> I'll be very surprised. Okay, end of James Bond saga. I'll be back soon because I had the most exciting day yesterday and I have to tell you about it. Bye-bye for now.